Welcome, dear friends and cherished members of our community, to a moment of profound spiritual connection and divine revelation. Today, I am deeply honored and filled with a sense of sacred responsibility to share with you a message directly from the heart of God, a message that is not just words, but a living and active force, carrying within it the potential to touch your hearts and transform your lives. As we gather here in unity and anticipation, I sense that this message holds a unique and prophetic weight, meant to reach the depths of your souls and bring forth a wave of understanding and clarity. This is not just another sermon or teaching. This is a divine unveiling, a sacred revelation of truths that have remained hidden and are now ready to be brought into the light. Revelation, in its truest form, is a miraculous act of God. It is His way of pulling back the curtains, revealing the deeper mysteries of His Word and His ways, and inviting us into a space of enlightenment and transformation. These truths, once shrouded in mystery, are now ready to be embraced and understood, leading us on a path of alignment with God's divine teachings and principles. This alignment, dear friends, is not a trivial matter. It is the key to unlocking a life of true fulfillment, purpose, and spiritual growth. As we open our hearts and minds to receive this message, we are opening ourselves to the possibility of transformative change. Some of these changes may be immediate, striking at the very core of our being and altering our perspective in an instant. Others may be gradual, unfolding over time as we ponder, reflect, and gradually integrate these divine truths into the fabric of our lives. So I invite you, with an open heart and a receptive spirit, to join me on this sacred journey of revelation and transformation. Let us together delve into the depths of God's Word, seeking out the hidden treasures that await us. Let us be courageous and open, ready to receive whatever God has in store for us today. For in this moment, we stand on holy ground, and the potential for life-changing revelation is immense. Occasionally, when God reveals a truth, the impact is instantaneous. A newfound knowledge or a fresh revelation can redirect your life's path. This newfound direction can dramatically alter your life's course. However, not all revelations are immediately transformative. Some take time to manifest visibly in your life, weeks or even months after God's Word has touched you. Yet, today's message stands out as particularly prophetic. As I was in contemplation, I discerned a profound message from God. The anointing is returning. For those who once walked hand in hand with God but have since strayed, Know that the anointing to reconnect is on its way. Many of you receiving this message might feel you're in a spiritual drought, not in your everyday life, but in your relationship with God. Perhaps there were moments in your past where your bond with Him was fierce and unyielding. Maybe now, despite your earnest efforts, He seems distant. Some of you might be diligently seeking Him, immersing yourself in His teachings, and yearning for that deep connection. Yet, you might feel a void, a distance from the closeness you once shared with Him. To you, I convey God's assurance, the anointing to bridge that gap is returning. I will delve deeper into the scriptures to elucidate this message. Every word I share here is not a reflection of my personal sentiments, but is inspired by God's heart and His divine messages. It's essential to remember that while I am the messenger, the true source of these words is God. My primary intent is to honor Him and convey His messages, though I deeply care for and cherish all of you. Let us continue to seek God's guidance, embrace His revelations, and be transformed by His profound love. Throughout my upbringing, I was nurtured with faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. This foundation of belief was all I knew and cherished, yet, I've come to realize that merely being born into a Christian household doesn't guarantee a profound connection with God. This revelation dawned on me years ago, prompting a desire for a deeper bond with Him. It was more than just understanding the Holy Spirit. 
It was about embracing the Son, the Father, and the vastness of God's essence. Many people might identify as Christians, but lack that intimate relationship with God. I was once in that very position. However, when you genuinely seek to delve deeper into God's embrace, you'll notice a unique closeness, a feeling that's indescribable. It's not about mere identification or being part of a religious group. It's about earnestly committing to understand and be with God. Reflecting on the past, the story of the Israelites serves as a poignant example. God liberated them from the confines of Egypt, a symbol of both mental and physical captivity. During their time in the wilderness, God was their steadfast guide, showing His presence with a cloud during the day and a fire at night. He showcased numerous miracles, further solidifying His omnipresence. Despite these clear signs, the Israelites were unfamiliar with the Holy Spirit's essence. Yet, the Holy Spirit has always been present. The book of Genesis narrates how the Spirit of God hovered over the waters during creation. Since the inception of the earth, the Holy Spirit, representing the divine anointing, has been with us. While everyone might have the Holy Spirit within them, the depth and intensity of this presence can vary among individuals. Recalling the creation, the Holy Spirit was there, evident in the beauty and vastness of the world. The same Spirit accompanied the Israelites during their challenging journey through the wilderness. And today, He continues to guide and be with us. By the divine revelation I received, I believe a special anointing is returning indicating a profound reconnection with the Holy Spirit. When you experience this anointing, the world unfolds in miraculous ways, revealing wonders that leave you in awe. For those who felt this divine presence, you know the sensation of being immersed in God's grace. But sometimes, even the most devout find themselves in desolate moments, questioning why the spiritual connection seems distant despite their unwavering devotion. Remember, seeking God is a continuous journey, and every step, be it in joy or challenge, brings you closer to His eternal love. As you journey deeper in your faith, you may sometimes feel that the divine touch seems distant. Yet, be assured, God's anointing is on its way back to you. Reflecting on my own spiritual journey, I recall the moments when I began to earnestly cultivate a true bond with God. It involved immersing myself in His teachings and genuinely seeking understanding. This did not imply that my passion for God had waned. Rather, it highlighted that during certain periods, God's anointing seemed especially profound. When you are new to faith, taking your initial steps towards God, there is a unique grace that envelops you. God, in His infinite wisdom and love, grants special blessings during these initial phases not because He needs to prove His might, but because He desires to affirm His place in your heart, ensuring that no other deity stands above or before Him. By doing so, He establishes a foundation in your life, often marked by miraculous events that might not be as frequent for those deeply rooted in faith. Individuals who have matured in their relationship with God might not require constant reaffirmation through miraculous occurrences. Their faith stands tall, much more robust than the proverbial mustard seed. Their unwavering belief assures them of God's power, even if it isn't always visible. However, for those newly embracing faith, God often amplifies His workings, facilitating the growth of their trust in Him. Yet, regardless of where you are in your spiritual journey, whether a novice or well-versed in God's ways, Rest assured that His profound anointing, reminiscent of those early days, is returning to you. To further elucidate this sentiment, let us delve into Psalm 23 verse 5. David proclaims, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Here David speaks of being abundantly blessed, filled to the brim with the Holy Spirit. When God anoints you in such a manner, it results in a life overflowing with blessings, accompanied by unwavering kindness and compassion. 
This divine grace ensures that you remain in God's abode eternally. David's life provides further evidence of this unique anointing. Before ascending to the throne, he was chosen and anointed by Samuel, much like Saul. Such divine blessings are bestowed when God intends to enact significant change or manifest His glory through miraculous events. Remember this sequence. With the anointing comes immense blessings. Following the anointing, you witness the extraordinary, the signs, wonders, and miracles of God's power. This anointing, akin to being filled with the Holy Spirit, precedes the manifestation of God's immense strength in your life. Embrace this understanding, for God's anointing is not just a past experience, it is a promise for your future. It signifies the start of a new chapter, marked by divine blessings and a deeper connection with the Almighty. Embrace the moment. Understand that before God's authority is revealed in its full magnitude, there is first the anointing. This anointing paves the way for God's mercy and benevolence to manifest in unprecedented ways through the name of Jesus. There are times when you may have strayed from God's path or have been steadfast in your commitment, seeking Him relentlessly. Perhaps the present doesn't mirror the past, but rest assured, His blessings will return. Let's reflect on Ruth chapter 3, verse 3. Here, Naomi advises Ruth, Wash and anoint yourself, dress up and go to the threshing floor, yet stay hidden from the man until he has finished eating and drinking. Naomi's emphasis to Ruth was not just about physical cleansing, but the spiritual significance of anointing oneself. When God's anointing embraces you, it's transformative. It precedes growth and elevation in your spiritual journey. The anointing is poised to return. For those who once shared a close bond with God but have drifted away, know that His anointing is beckoning you back. Revisit this message and share the wonders God has accomplished in your life. At this moment, I'm compelled by the Spirit of God. If you possess oil, especially olive oil, in your residence, I urge you to retrieve it. With this oil, turn to Psalms chapter 23. This chapter, rich in its spiritual depth, will guide you as you anoint yourself. If you choose, you can also revisit this message and let my words serve as an intercession for you. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He lets me rest in lush meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along the right paths, honoring his name. Though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no harm, for you are close beside me. Your rod and staff protect and comfort me. You provide a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Indeed, goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord eternally. This scripture is the word of God, the supreme authority, the unwavering truth. In Jesus' name, amen. We express our gratitude for your word, Lord. I share this with you because it is essential for you to recognize that the anointing is on its way back. This message is the fulfillment of prayers for many. When I let the Spirit guide me, I'm confident that it will liberate many souls. Someone out there is in dire need of this message and prayer. One pivotal concept I'd like to emphasize today is the art of listening. The world we inhabit is a cacophony of voices, opinions, and distractions. Amidst this noise, the subtle voice of God often gets drowned. But remember, He speaks to us in whispers, in the quietude of our hearts, and in the stillness of our souls. When we cultivate the art of listening, we open ourselves to divine guidance. Just as a musician discerns individual notes in a melody, a heart attuned to God can discern His voice amidst life's clamor. In the book of 1 Kings 191 verse 11 to 13, when God revealed himself to Elijah, it wasn't in the strong wind, nor in the earthquake or the fire, but in a still, small voice. This passage serves as a gentle reminder that God's presence isn't always in the grand or the dramatic, 
but often in the gentle whispers that we might overlook. It's also crucial to foster a heart of gratitude. When we approach life with a grateful heart, we recognize the myriad blessings God bestows upon us daily. Even in trials, a heart filled with gratitude discerns lessons and growth. The Apostle Paul in Philippians 4 verse 6 advises, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. This scripture underscores the importance of approaching God with a heart full of gratitude, irrespective of our circumstances. In our fast-paced world, waiting can be agonizing. However, God's timeline doesn't always align with ours. His plans are intricate, woven meticulously for our highest good. Just as a farmer waits patiently for the harvest after sowing seeds, we must wait for God's promises to manifest in our lives. The book of James 5 verse 7 to 8 tells us, Be patient, therefore, brothers, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, being patient about it until it receives the early and late rains. Furthermore, the importance of community in our spiritual journey cannot be overstated. As believers, we aren't meant to traverse this path in isolation. The essence of Christianity lies in fellowship and communal worship. By fostering genuine relationships with fellow believers, we create a support system that uplifts, encourages, and guides. Proverbs 27 verse 17 aptly states, As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. This mutual edification is the bedrock of a thriving spiritual community. I implore each of you to cultivate a heart of service. True faith manifests in actions. The book of James reminds us that faith without works is dead. When we serve others selflessly, reflecting Christ's love, we become living testimonies of His grace. Whether it's helping a neighbor, volunteering at a local shelter, or supporting a charitable cause, every act of kindness becomes a testament to God's love in the world. If this message rings true for you, please acknowledge it in the comments. Sharing this insight can be a profound act of kindness. There are undoubtedly individuals within your circle who need to hear these words. When you share, Think of it as sowing a seed of wisdom and hope into their lives. The act of sharing can initiate a ripple effect. By heeding this call and sharing this message, you're not only helping others, but also enriching your own spiritual journey. For those moved to contribute and sow further seeds, know that this is a worthy ground. While there are numerous places to contribute, what's essential is the intent behind the act. Ensure that the place or ministry you're supporting aligns with your faith and intentions. A genuine ministry will echo your sentiments and stand beside you, hoping for your spiritual growth. Luke 6 verse 38 speaks of this reciprocity. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, will be poured into your lap. God's abundance knows no bounds. The blessings you receive might overflow, enabling you to be a beacon of generosity to others. God has an expansive vision. He seeks not only to provide for you, but to empower you to aid others. Some might say, I seek nothing from God. But consider this, God's generosity towards you isn't just for your benefit. He blesses you so that you, in turn, can be a blessing to others. To decline His gifts isn't humility, it's depriving yourself and others of His intended blessings. Reflect upon this. How can you serve as God's instrument if you don't welcome His gifts or guidance? Until next time, my thoughts and prayers are always with you. If you believe in God like the video and leave a heartfelt Amen in the comments, explore our new channel, Prayer Helps for daily Christian inspiration, prayers, and devotions. We aim to uplift and inspire you daily. Visit the link to discover more.